Okay. Yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how long this is gonna last. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. I think the main focus, uh, instead of how long it's going to last, is regardless how long it's going to last, is uh, one, uh, how we're going to endure it, and two, uh, what we what we will look like as a society, as individuals, and as a society, uh, once we get to the other side, the ones that get to the other side. Right. Because obviously some significant changes will have to be made in terms of our behavior, uh, not only individually, but how we take care of each other and how we take care of the environment. Because I, I personally believe this is either uh, a huge biological warfare mm -hmm. or nature pushing back. One of either, and either way, it's not good it's because <laughs> something wrong is, has happened it's as a consequence of something um, very very bad so what are we gonna look like as a society on the other side when we get to the other side right what do, what do we learn from it what are we learning from this yeah yeah first in terms of the things that yeah. we appreciate the most and treasure the most and value the most uh, so many of those things are not very useful in times like this. And on survival, when once we get in, in, into survival mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I that I, I started doing is like um, my my job slowed down a lot uh, because what we do is uh, we do implementations for software, actually for hospitals, but. Mm -hmm. The hospitals not necessarily need new software at this moment. They just need like hospital, you know, medical staff, you know, so they don't need extra bodies, um, uh, uh, you know, just walking around, you know. But yeah, so then I just, you know, at home, now I just try to figure out other things to do, you know, like you, you're so caught up on, on the, what's on the other side, um, but then now it's kind of like you, 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 you tend to appreciate your house a little bit more, you know, like, you know, like you, you, you. There's, there's a reason why we, we know we, we own these houses. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. And one of the things that that I try to do, you know, to um, kind of like not be so monotonous. I try not to drink du during the week. So then, you know, like when I get on on a on a call like this, you know, then it's like. Now I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> yeah, this, right. this is my party. <laughs> Besides water. <laughs> right. Oh, no, this, this is just for now. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm about to go fix it. <laughs> yeah. This is just to, uh, you know, wash down. I, um... A friend of mine, he actually had a, a workout on Zoom, like um, it ended like a couple hours ago. So I, I joined that too, so it's interesting. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I think that's good because it keeps your competitive spirits on. Exactly. If you're doing it, if, if you're doing it, yeah, as, as a group, some people need it for. Uh, for cheerleading purposes, others need for to get their competitive juices flowing. You know, yeah, right? I think it's good. I've been exercising by myself. I think I work better like that. Or I prefer to work like that because um, somehow it tends to um, get my mind ready for the day. So I rather be in the zone, regardless of what everybody else is doing. So it doesn't matter if I'm with. 10 people or if I'm doing it by myself but I choose to do it by myself because I, because I can't do it at any time and uh, I have to, I have to keep honest uh, that's another thing this thing of us being alone we have to keep honest in terms of meeting our targets whether we're meeting our targets or our own expectations uh, or not you know nobody's right. watching so right. uh, are you are you delivering on your on your expectations on your targets 
or not. Mm. Um, oh, it, uh, yeah, the other aspect I think is this forces us to look at us uh, or inside us. You know, that yeah. I think that, that book from um, Pastor John Gray, I haven't read it, but I love the title, Win Within. Um, I think this is, we have no choice but to go within and, and, and start fixing ourselves, whatever issues we might have. 